Ikoro is an Ijo community. This place started about 11 AD. Ikoro is a river Rhine community located in Ovia, North East local government area of Edo State, Nigeria. Ikoro is about an hour drive from Ekewa Barracks in Benin City, the state's capital. Ikoro's economy hinges heavily on its age-long culture of palm wine production, fish farming, and processing. A culture sustained by its women men and children. Ikoro, a treasure trove of water wealth, is threatened by government neglect and abandonment. Several sub-communities depend on Ikoro and its primary health care facilities, but Ikoro itself has none to boast of. This Ikoro uh, center has many other sub-communities. Malagedi is there, Smolagos is there, Imyagben is there, Abigo is there, uh, Okome, Iti, Abigo, Unwame, uh, Tamasoburu, Mos, Danikoro. Which is more than 30 something sub-communities. But still, yes, we don't have mortality. Many cases of preventable deaths, infant and maternal mortalities are traceable to Ikoro's lack of health center. Uh, our mortality, we don't get. If a person was born, now we go to and go uh, If a person is sick, they go to we will not get mortality. Because we know where self. If they can, if you know see where we can go, they go can go pini. Before we reach that side, so they die. We not get hospital for the community. The hospital where we get for the community, where they say they won't help us for government, they abandon now for for more than six years. They will do and remain. They not finish them. In 2014, a maternity project was initiated but its construction was short-lived. There is a provision for the construction of maternity in Ikoro village in Edo State's 2018 budget, but no noticeable work has commenced on the abandoned project. This is um, the health center of Ikoro community. It was built by the former Chairman Oil and Gas, Honorable Vincent Wadia. Along the line, the project was stopped by, by the same contractor who gives all the contract, Honorable Vincent Wadia. When are we the sick, or I should the sick, we know they see person where they rescue us. Before they carry person reach hospital, many times, person they die for road. Sometimes our children they get short of blood. If we carry them, they go, they go give up for road. Some people automatically person they will go bush, they will cut leg for bush. We will not get hospital for the community. Some weeks, some months, about three months ago, we have more than two to three casualty. Before taking them to hospital, they pass out because we don't have health center. No way to have first aid in our own land here. Without any primary health care center, the people of Ikoro continue to tread on the thin line between health and death.
development community of Ikoro hosts one of Nigeria's oldest primary school. Since 1917, we have got our primary school. And this primary school is number 40 in the whole Nigeria. To let you know that this place has long been existing. Even the indigenous of this place is taught the other Benin named Akendwa in primary school. Afuya is his name. Our secondary school is not far away from here. The uh, site we give to them, up to today, no project. We have one where they are holding now, just like a small, small place that they are using now, a secondary school in Ikoro community. And even the primary school, we need teachers. Go to the secondary schools, we need teachers. In any society, when there is no teachers, how can the students become good people in the society? Tomorrow they say the just people are kidnappers and armed robbers. As you can see, look at the primary school. The area is rough. Over the community, they use their money to roof whenever the thing is leaky. If uh, we are in, in raining season, the children will not go to school because of the bad atmosphere. That good old citadel of learning is now unfit for schooling. A wasteland. Roads are definers of access and investment opportunity. The access road to Ikoro is in a deplorable state, making mobility and contact with markets difficult for its residents and traders. If you look to the road, we use our money to grade the road. Council cannot grade the road. Government cannot grade the road. We don't have road. You look at the road, it's just only seven kilometers away from here to, to Benin. If, if we get to raining season time now, there's no way you go to the community. Road that you will take us nothing less than 100 naira from Benin to Ikoro. Because of the bad road, it takes almost 500 naira for one person. As the situation persists, the already thinned line between health and death between schooling and torture continue to evaporate into a smog of loss and fury. Our community, government, they're not they listening to us. Ijo is the owner of this community. Since the Benin people want to claim the place as their own, they don't want any development to come into our community. <laughs>